Hi guys and welcome to another Game of Thrones location vlog, this time from Dubrovnik. The first scene you can see here is where the public is attacking Joffrey and the Hound saves him. Then you can see me standing at the King's Landing, I mean in Dubrovnik, but <laughs> this is the scene or this is the place where the King's Landing was filmed. So. I'm gonna show you a couple of scenes that were filmed here. So the first one is where Musella is leaving to Dorne and Cersei is um, saying goodbye to her. And the same place was used when she was coming back uh, from Dorne. Well, she wasn't really coming back, but yeah, if you watch the series, you know what I mean. So you can see uh, the whole scene um, or the whole place was actually used mostly as it is. So they change a little bit some things, but it's pretty much the same as it is in real life. Then the next location is just a couple of minutes away from the previous one. It's this uh, pier that was in the scene where Littlefinger was speaking to Sansa and he was trying to convince her to go with him. Here you can see the whole old town of Dubrovnik in its beauty and also there you can see the two scenes where the previous scenes were filmed in. I filmed this from Fort Lovrienage which was also used for some of the scenes like this one with Cersei and Littlefinger and I think the scene was called Power's Power. Then another scene that was filmed here was Joffrey's name day as you can see here it also looks almost exactly like in the series. Pretty exciting, huh? Then we went back to the old town and climbed up the wall. So there is a wall going around the old town and you can climb up and go around the old town to watch some beautiful views over the old town from the wall. That's the Fort Lorienage again. So all of these locations, they are really close to each other and it's enough to take just one day to see them all. On the wall was filmed a scene with Tyrion and Varys. Not sure what they were speaking about, but <laughs> it was filmed on the wall. And here you can see the Lockroom Island. We didn't go there, but I thought of mentioning it as some of the scenes were also filmed there. Like the scene here where Daenerys was visiting or was in the city of Quart. And when you've walked around the wall, you get to the Minchetta Tower or the House of the Undying, which is also a really cool place and it does look a little bit mysterious. So here you can see me and here you don't see me. Then we came down from the wall and we're looking for another location, which I think is one of the probably most famous locations here. So the famous stairs. Here Tommen met the High Sparrow and Cersei had her famous walk of shame. 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 There is one more place I want to share with you. This is not mentioned in most of the websites. Uh, it's a hotel, an abandoned hotel that was destroyed during the war. And I must admit, it's quite a creepy place to be. Um, I was a little bit scared there, but I thought I'd mention it because we went to see it and it was one of the Game of Thrones locations. So here you can see the actual place and it was used in the scene where Oberyn was having the battle against the mountain. I hope you enjoyed these locations as much as I did and if you're in Croatia definitely go to Dubrovnik and visit these scenes if you're a fan of the series. If you like this video please don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe for more cool travel vlogs and recipes. Thank you for watching my video, bye bye until next time. You didn't like my video yet? Shame.